Yo, what's going on guys to the Gen Z Finance community? We got one stock we're going to be talking about today and that is Walgreens Boots Alliance, ticker symbol WBA. Now guys, this stock is trading at $36 and some change here today, down 4% on the day. This one is a 5% dividend yield payer and it has been beaten down completely beaten down and we're going to be talking about this one today and figure out if today's evaluation is a good time to buy and we're going to take a deeper dive into the financials and the business fundamentals you guys already know what walgreens is of course it's a pharmacy they are all throughout the united states almost you can find one almost anywhere in the united states so let's take a deeper dive into this company guys walgreens is a stock that is down around 50% from its 52 week range guys now around $36 a share here It is looking very very interesting and I'm liking the valuation a lot. Holy crap. Holy crap Am I looking is this real? Is this real? Forward PE 7 a 7 PE ratio. Wait, 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 wait. what is this? Hold on this company is down 50% from its 52 week highs and analysts are expecting this company to grow revenues this year? They're expected to grow sales? Hold on, hold on. 1.7% in sales growth. Est guys, this is an estimate, remember. This isn't actually what it is. It's an estimate. Next year, they're expected to grow 3% revenues? Guys, this company is, a, this company is already growing net, net profits, net revenues of $30 billion. Guys, a 3% increase is huge numbers huge numbers if the company continues to grow like this the dividend will increase without a doubt if they care for the shareholders dividends you know it's a dividend company this company's dividend will increase guys it's down 50 percent on the year and they're still expected to grow revenues this year like what is wall street just disregarding this stock are we just focusing on growth stocks right now? Everyone's focusing on growth stocks, but they're not worried about this valuation play right here. This has been sitting in plain sight, guys. Plain sight, and everyone's just disregarding it. Guys, holy crap, and it's down 4% here today. $36 a share for Walgreens? This stock used to be an $80 stock in 2017. Guys, this is unreal. Okay, okay, okay. Taking a look at their income statement here on the bottom line, they did 34 billion in net revenue. They did have a loss of 1.7 billion this quarter, which isn't terrible. Always could be worse. Always can be worse. <laughs> now, net earnings loss per common share, 195 per share. You guys, we do know lots of businesses have been hit by COVID-19. Now, does Walgreens deserve to be beaten down around 50% from its 52-week highs? That is another question. Now, taking a look at this, it doesn't seem that bad. It could have been way better. We already know 2021 and the future quarters coming up is going to be a lot better for Walgreens for sure. They're still continuing to pay the dividend. They still haven't cut that dividend, which is fantastic for shareholders. Um, now, we're going to look at the balance sheet here. We do see that from last year's quarter, of 2000 from 2019 total assets are up to 86 billion dollars from 67 last year and the total current liabilities are up 1 billion around there from last year as well and the total non-current liabilities is up around 20 billion which is not amazing but we do know of course the total assets have increased as well so looking at the balance sheet we do see that they are sitting on about 768 million in cash and cash equivalents. That could be a lot higher. We would want that a lot higher. But we do know that the assets to liabilities ratio here isn't awful. We do have some stability. We do have some safe haven. If anything were to go wrong, of course. Now, it's Walgreens, guys. You know what I mean? It's Walgreens. They're everywhere they're everywhere they're gonna make it through this time of course it's not no doubt in my mind this company is gonna go bankrupt and no doubt in my mind in five years time it is going to be higher than 36 dollars a share here today it is literally a no-brainer 
Everyone's thinking short term. Oh my god, they're not making any money right now. They're losing so much money. Sell, 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 sell. And that just makes me want to buy, 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 buy. Yo, guys, buy when there's blood in the streets. Come on, it's easy. It's easy. Just buy when there's blood in the streets. Never hop on the FOMO when it's a green day. Never be purchasing. It is not a good time when the stock's beaten down like Walgreens. Come on, it's just a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Who cares about the short term? You're looking at this play as a value play, and then in the future, do you see Walgreens still sitting at $36 a share? Like, no. No, you don't. If you if you think it's sitting at $36 a share, and they're supposed to be increasing revenues by 3% a year, it is impossible for this stock to be $36 in the future years. Just don't think short term, always think long term when you're investing in stocks. Now, I probably won't be covering Walgreens business model. Everyone probably knows. Everyone knows what they really do. It's, you know, it's a pharmacy. It's a, it's like a, a store, a retail store. You go and you buy whatever you really need for that, blah, 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 blah. So, am I even going to consider even calculating the intrinsic value on this? I don't even have to. I literally don't even have to calculate the intrinsic value on this and know that it's a good buy right now i literally i couldn't care less about the short term right now i do not care at all i'm looking at this in the future is this stock really really going to be at 36 dollars and 76 cents in the future of course not of course not and that's all you guys have to think about and you guys have to understand your risk to reward am i gonna lose my investment in three to five years am i gonna lose way more money than what it is at today of course not now i'm not saying the stock may double in the next few years it may not double but it is a good value play if you're at least making 10 percent um gains every single year off this stock that is phenomenal plus you are also being paid that five percent dividend yield that is here today now is this a buy of course, $36 here today, like, man, if I had the money, I'd be loading the boat right now. I'm putting money into my Wealth Symbol trading account today, right now, so I can start loading the boat on this as long as it stays around $36 a share. Even be anything below 40 is crazy valuation to be loading the boat on this big boy here. Now, guys, with that being said, that's the end of the video here today. Make sure you guys do like, comment, and subscribe if you want more stock market related videos like this one. And have a great day!